move as women, especially around this time. It's such a sensitive time for us that even sometimes we don't really know how to put our words towards what we're feeling. You know what I mean? Like, okay, God, what do you want me to do next? How do you want me to do this? What music you want? What verses you want? You know, all these two different type of things <laughs> because it's purposeful. Y'all, these are so, so pretty. Shake, shake, shake to the bottom of the lake We're gonna rock that, okay personal life but with this channel I just kind of thought we were just gonna all be talking when it's needed for like Bible study or you know things in that nature like I really wasn't thinking about um, really having conversations about my thoughts to the Holy Spirit right but that's actually where God wants me to be um, with that type of vulnerability um, with the Holy Spirit and it's like coming close to that time of the month for me and I just want to be completely transparent normally when that time of the month comes as women at times we can be way more emotional than normal and I think because for some of us we've been taught to be strong and don't you know don't fold keep your keep yourself together you know <laughs> You know, don't cry, don't do this, don't do that. And for some of us, it's like, you know, we were taught to express that love, express that cry, express that emotion. If it's sadness, express it. If it's you're in your feelings about something, express it. And um, I don't know, it's just weird. I think sometimes as women, especially around this time, it's such a sensitive time for us that even sometimes we don't really know how to put our words towards what we're feeling because we're still trying to understand what we're feeling when we're feeling it um <laughs> i pray that this makes sense i think from some women that can attest to that 
uh, would probably say it's almost like you're trying to say is it A, B, C, or D? And you're still trying to figure out if it's A, sadness, B, depression, C, anxiety, or D, fear. Like, it's like all these different things that go on through your mind, um, especially around a time when your period comes. And I think that's even more reason why, and the reason why I said all of those A through D, I know for some people they're like, dang girl, that was all terrible things, but we're just being completely 100% over here. Um, for some people, it's not always A, blessed. B bless, C bless, D bless. Like it's not always that. Like you know what I mean. I truly believe God wanted me to share this because He wants your vulnerability in your most vulnerable moment. Amen. That's so good, and it can be really tough because you're trying to digest what this moment is while being in the moment. And I just urge you, sis, uh, to really take time and spend time with Jesus. Um, even more than you do in your day-to-day -day when you're not on your menstrual, do it even 10 times more. And just see how God comes through in those spaces where you lack. So tomorrow, y'all, I'm literally going to spend the whole entire day just relaxing. Um, it's going to be like a day of Sabbath for me. Um, it's a Saturday, January 12th to be exact and I'm gonna really just be relaxed and reading my word I'm gonna chill around my apartment complex I might take you guys along with me I'm still trying to debate because uh, I really want to be in the moment and I'm just really gonna just cater this whole day into rest with Christ amen but I really felt led to share that I pray that this is a blessing for you and if you have any tips about how God has helped you in your um in your own life when it comes to like your menstrual and how your emotions are all over the place and for some of us we might even deal with a different level of spiritual warfare when your menstrual come let's just be 100 and if you have also conquered that through christ go ahead and tell your testimony in the comments like it can help another sister you know it can help someone else um that maybe doesn't know how to maneuver through that avenue we literally overcome by the word of our testimony so definitely definitely comment down below what are some tips and tricks um not even tips or tricks but just revelations that the holy spirit has given you um as well of how to surrender in your most vulnerable state amen all right, y'all, I'm going to see you guys um, the next time either I pick up this camera or I'll see y'all in the morning. Amen. Bye. Every time I'm recording, I'm wearing the same thing. Oh, oh well. Because I want to do a giveaway, right? Because we hit, we hit um, a thousand subscribers, right? So I want to do a giveaway. I just feel like when I when I see my sisters like face to face, like you know what I mean. I mean your grill sis, yes, you and my grill. You can see the little crust stuff like that. But we love each other because we love each other with the love of the Lord. Okay, period. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to give the fam a pretty good giveaway. And depending on who actually wins this giveaway, it's literally just gonna be one person, y'all. Just one person. But depending on who actually wins this giveaway, will basically depend on what is given as well. So, because it could be a male or it could be a female. It just really just depends. Um, I don't have a couple of males that follow this channel, but for the most part, it's majority females. So, for the giveaway, this is what God put on my heart to do. There was a vlog that is 58 minutes long. I have two vlogs on my channel that is 58 minutes long. And one of those vlogs, one of those vlogs in particular, um, the Holy Spirit literally woke me up due to spiritual warfare. And... The reasoning of that spiritual warfare was in that vlog and the reason that God had me wake up um, is also in that vlog <laughs> and I'm trying not to not give it away you guys but there was a reason why I had that spiritual warfare and um, God had me relay that to you guys and so in one of those vlogs <laughs> Dang, that's kind of hard because I feel like I just gave it away. But basically, you have to be subscribed, of course, to the channel. You have to turn your post notifications on. And then you also need to be following me on Instagram and TikTok. So it needs to be on all three of these. 
And then, this is the kicker. This is the kicker right here. Uh, help me, Holy Spirit. I'm trying not to give it away. So, there was a vlog recently that came out where I was woken up out of my sleep. And when I was woken up out of my sleep, it led me into doing Spending Time with Jesus Live on TikTok. Um, there was a reason for it. And there was also a scripture that I placed on that video for that reason for it. If you can comment what that scripture was and what was the reason why God woke me up that night, um, and if you comment correctly, then you will get a portion of this giveaway. And I'm gonna reach out to you via Instagram. So you do have to be following me on Instagram and you have to follow me on TikTok as well. All things will be down in the description box below and the details for this giveaway will be down in the description box below. This could be a cash giveaway. This could be many different types of giveaways just depending on the type of person that it is. So if it's a female, I got you sis. If it's a male, I got you. But I just need to know down below in the comments. If you really tuned here to spend time with Jesus, like you, you'll know what it is but um if you're new here just go back and look at a couple of episodes that god has asked for me to release and you'll see the answer and you might get to it before somebody that actually is already subscribed if you can get all of that correct and put it down in the comments and let me know when you're done and i do have to see like you know obviously that you follow me on these like I, i'm gonna do my research y'all before i just go giving away stuff okay but yeah if you can do that Baby, it's up and it's stuck. Okay, sis? And that's just that on next. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know about her looking how many shot, but I literally just woke up. So it is January 16th, 1233. I don't really know what I'm gonna say. I don't have much to say. I feel like I'm just talking to the camera. That's what you're doing. Y'all, when I say this is so new for me. <laughs> It's so new for me. I'm like, this is my life. I'm spending time with Jesus. Getting acclimated to a space that you're really not used to showing your life in on a consistent basis <laughs> is different. On here, whole different thing. I have to check in with God because he's the editor of how this looks. You know what I mean? Like, okay, God, what do you want me to do next? How do you want me to do this? What music you want? What verses you want? You know, all these two different type of things <laughs> because it's purposeful. I'm just getting myself together, y'all. For your goodness, goodness, goodness and your mercy toward us, toward for your goodness. goodness. And your mercy toward us For your goodness And your mercy toward us How cute is this outfit, y'all? I need some chapstick, child. These lips is true. So I'm just gonna turn it like this real quick because I just want y'all to see. Y'all, how cute. How cute is this? I'm gonna make a smoothie, y'all. Y'all, look how beautiful these flowers are. I know y'all like, girl, you get easily distracted. I'm sorry, baby, you just gonna have to try to keep up, okay? Cause I really do be like. Mostly, y'all, I just did this one. And how beautiful, how beautiful is she? How beautiful, how, how beautiful. Isn't she just delightful? You're gonna need your new bullet. Sure y'all that my expiration date did not expire because the way I can move it around. This is what I like to put in my smoothies. I made a smoothie before one time and it was really, really cute and aesthetically y'all pleasing. Like it was, it was giving the girls what it needed to give. But honestly, I don't know where that memory card went. So I don't know where that footage is. What I'm gonna be putting in my smoothie today is dark sweet cherries, organic strawberries. Me, me personally, y'all, I love to use the organic. Um, that's just me personally. Why does the pineapples look like this? Maybe because they've been sitting in there a minute. But it say April the 2nd, 2024. 
and it's like for the second it is January 16th. <laughs> We're gonna be using pineapples as well. I normally try to get the one that's sugar free, but I don't know if I did or if I didn't, so to each his own on that one. And then I'm also gonna apply some mango. I'm gonna put some mango in there. just get this smoothie on the road we approximately have before we do bible study we have we have 20 minutes before we do bible study so i really want to make this real quick that's the one thing i will say when it comes to like the spending time with jesus lives on tiktok i never know how long we're going to be on bible study because i just let the holy spirit have his way Ginger is extremely good for you. I like to give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake to the bottom of the lake. We're gonna rock that. Okay, stop. Pour. It been tripping here lately. I gotta buy another one. I really hope it works. Oh gosh. I don't know if it's gonna work, y'all. We're gonna have to switch. That much. It be like, girl, you want me to do what? And I don't blame me, because it's like, I have a certain level of capacity. <laughs> Ooh, that's a word. That's a word. You gotta know how much you can handle. Not everything can fit you. Come on now, God. Not everything can fit you. So like, what was able to fit this can't fit every single thing. So there are certain spaces. Come on, help me, Holy Spirit. There are certain things that God will call you to do in your life and where he's calling you, you gotta know where you fit. You gotta know where you fit. Point blank, period. Wow, and that's the perfect deal. This is the, y'all, this is the perfect amount for this cup. God knows how much you need, point blank, period. Point blank period. Sometimes we can be a bit zealous thinking we need more. And God is like, I'm just trying to fill your cup right where you need it. Cause imagine if I would have put all of this in here, I would have been overflown. My cup would have run over. And there are certain seasons where your cup just can't quite run over just yet. You just have to be still, wait on the Lord and allow him to renew your strength because your cup is only fitted for how much he can fill you up with. Period. Oh my gosh, the girls that get it, get it. I really hope that this is not recording in slow-mo because <sighs> let's give it a taste test, y'all. Ooh, it's not bad at all. Now I will tell you, I'm gonna say this and then I have to get spending time with Jesus. Um, it, if you guys do want to be a part of the Spending Time with Jesus Bible studies that we do over on TikTok, the link in the bio will be down below in the description box. But what I will tell you, oh my gosh, I have a minute. Okay, what I will tell you, you guys, is it's not like super sweet. So if you're looking for something that's like super, super sweet, sis, this is definitely going to be no bueno for you just because um, it's not like super sweet. But if you like something that's a little bit of sweet and tart at the same time, kind of like a Sour Patch Kid, you know, like sweet but sour, this is definitely gonna be the smoothie for you. It's really good. But cheers, babe. I will see you guys at the Spending Time with Jesus. We have to hurry up. I almost forgot you guys. Come on. But spend time with Jesus. I'm so excited. I'm very happy to do that today. And especially with you guys. But more than anything, y'all, I'm happy because I am gonna be off this Friday and I intentionally took off um, to honor God. And I just am so grateful for God's favor because I didn't, I didn't, I don't always get approved for my off days just because of the fact that it's such a high call volume and it's just so much stuff going on at work. So I don't always get approved. And so I don't take it lightly when I do get approved. And um, I'm 
was just so grateful that God even just allowed that to take place because I'm super excited and I'm also uh, just thankful to really just consecrate myself with intimacy with him and I literally intentionally took that day off to honor God so I'm so grateful and just to spend time with him alone with no camera with no phones with no applications with nothing but just me and him in a bible I'm so happy it's like going on a date and you were so intentional about that date and then the date is actually going to be able to happen and you're just like yes so let's spend time so I get off on Thursday and Friday we are off. Can you tell I'm excited? Okay. Mm. This smoothie is good. And I am running behind on spending time with Jesus. So I'm going to stop talking to y'all on the vlog so I can talk to my family on spending time with Jesus on TikTok. Mm -hmm.